Well, howdy, world. How y'all doing? For anybody that's ever had the privilege of ever owning any GMC or Chevrolet product, you're going to run into this if you haven't already done it like 97,000 times. One day you're going to get ready to go somewhere. You're going to go to put your vehicle in gear. And guess what? Oh, my God. Imagine that. Being that everything besides the motor and transmission is junk and made out of plastic, it's going to be broke. And you got to go pick up your wife and all that good stuff. And she's going to be mad. You're going to be mad. It's going to be hot. You're going to get the rig back to the house. And she's going to tell you to go ahead and buy another shifting linkage and change it. But I ain't pulling a seat out and doing all that. No. If they ain't good enough to fix it right the first time, I'm not good enough to fix it right the second time. I'm going to show you all what I'm going to do. I just went to the hardware store, and we're going to rig this dude up, and it's going to work just fine. I got a quarter inch piece of fuel line that I'm going to cut just a little bit of the nipple off there. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute whenever we get under the vehicle. And I also bought this little washer right here. It's got a tiny little hole in it. I don't know, maybe an eighth inch hole. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little saw. I got a die grinder, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. Everybody can do this for just a few dollars. Because if you keep driving these hunk of chunks, it's going to happen 10,000%. I want you to be able to fix it for a little bit of nothing. All righty, folks, let me show you what I done dead there. I took me a file, and I got that little spot started right under. You see that tiny little spot? Now what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take this little saw here, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cut all the way through to the hole. I'll be right back. All righty, folks, now that I've got myself underneath this unit, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. Alrighty, folks, so this is the problem right here. You see this? Here's junk right here. You see where it goes on right there? All that plastic stuff in there finally got wore out and then uh, it popped out. So I had to zip tie a couple zip ties on it to get it home. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this hose right here. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to stick it through here. And I'm going to fit it inside there onto this piece. But I'm just going to use just that tiny little small portion of it, maybe about that much, just to hold it in there. So let me get that on, and then I'll be right back. All righty. So now I got my I got my hose on yonder. See there? Got my got my little hose on. So now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to pop it right on in there. Hold on, let me push it on. I'll be back. All right, so now I got that on yonder. I'm going to take this piece. And there was a reason I notched it like so. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to hammer it on. And that's going to act as a washer. And it's going to grab it here. And it's not going to come off. So I'll be right back. As soon as I put this on. Well, all righty, folks. Look at there. I had to do a little bit more finagling on it, but I think she's about to work. Let me see if I can't tap her on there. And that there semi there what she looks like. Let's see if she'll go. I'll be right back. Just like 10 seconds. Well, all righty, folks. Look at there. She's on. She ain't coming off. And uh, I'll go back up top. I want to show you she shifts. Look at there. Ain't going nowhere. Easy peasy. Alrighty, let's see if she fires up. Woo, she's running good. Now, here comes the moment of truth, folks. Here we go, by God, look at here. Oh, looky there. Put her apart. And for everybody that sees that parking brake light on, I assure you it's not on. It's just a Chevrolet. It, it can't help it. Look at that. By God, we have got her fixed up. Park. Reverse. New trail. Drive. And one more time in reverse. And park. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. For like $5, you can turn your broke vehicle into a kind of not broke vehicle. And it should last a long time. And it's not plastic, so that's really cool. But uh, I'm going to clean up my mess. 
Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all be cool, stay classy. Fix your stuff for cheap sometimes instead of buying all that expensive junk that's just got more plastic in it. I love y'all.